Let's read short stories with comprehension check for grade 5. Frog's Lunch One day, a frog sat on a lily pad, still as a rock. A fish swam by. Hello, Mr. Frog. What are you waiting for? I am waiting for my lunch, said the frog. Oh, good luck, said the fish and swam away. Then a duck waddled by. Hello, Mr. Frog. What are you waiting for? I am waiting for my lunch, said the frog. Oh, good luck, said the duck and waddled away. Then a bug came buzzing by. Hello, Mr. Frog. What are you doing? As the bug. I'm having my lunch. Slurp said the frog mr frog smiled your turn kids Very good kids, this time, let's answer the questions. 1. Who is the main character in the story? A. The bug B. The duck Or C. The fish And letter D. The frog You're right, the answer is letter D, the frog. Number two, what was he doing? A, resting on a lily pad. B, chatting with a bug. C, hunting for his food. Or D, waiting for the rain. You're right. The answer is letter C, hunting for his food. 3. In what way was he able to get his lunch? A. He was able to fool the fish. B. He was able to fool the duck. C. He was able to fool the rock. Or D. He was able to fool the bug. You're right, the answer is letter D, he was able to fool the bug. Why should the frog be still as a rock? A, so that he will not scare the other animals away. B, 
so that he can catch his lunch. C. So that the other animals will think he is friendly. Or D. So that the fish will say nice things about him. You're right, the answer is letter B, so that he can catch his lunch. Number 5. Which of these words describe the duck? A. Patient B. Eager C. Curious or D. Careful You're right, the answer is letter C, curious. Number 6. Which of these words describe Mr. Frog? A. Patient B. Eager C. Curious or D. Careful You're right. The answer is letter A, patient. Number 7. Which of these characteristics would have helped the bug? A. Being patient. B. Being eager. C. Being curious. Or D. Being careful. You're right, the answer is letter D, being careful. How many scores did you get? Wow, that's a good job. Let's now proceed to another short story. The Cow and the Carabao Long ago, a farmer had a carabao and a cow. The carabao was bigger but the cow worked just as hard. One day, the farmer said, I can get more from my farm if my carabao works all day and my cow works all night. This went on for a month till finally the carabao cried it is just too hot to work all day want to go for a swim asked the cow it will cool you off the carabao happily agreed they went off without the farmer's consent before swimming they hung their skins on a tree branch but it wasn't long till the farmer went looking for them upon seeing the farmer they rushed to put on their skins in their rush the carabao had worn the cow's skin and the cow had worn the carabao's skin from then on cows have sagging skin while carabao's have tight skin your turn kids
Very good kids, this time, let's answer the questions. 1. At the beginning of the story, what was one major difference between the cow and the carabao? A. The carabao was bigger than the cow. B. The cow had sagging skin while the carabao had tight skin. C. The carabao had sagging skin while the cow had tight skin. Or D. The carabao worked at night while the cow worked in the day. You're right, the answer is letter A. The carabao was bigger than the cow. Number 2. What did the farmer decide one day? A. The cow and the carabao will work together. B. The cow and the carabao should not leave the farm. C. The carabao will work in the day while the cow will work at night. D. The cow will work in the day while the carabao will work at night. You're right! The answer is letter C. The carabao will work in the day while the cow will work at night. Number 3. What word describes the farmer in the story? A. Kind B. Cruel C. Grumpy or D. Hardworking You're right! The answer is letter B. Cruel Number 4. How did the farmer's decision affect the cow and the carabao? A. They did not have time to rest. B. They hardly saw each other. C. They did not eat enough. Or D. They were always tired. You're right! The answer is letter B. They hardly saw each other. Number 5. What does the phrase without consent mean? A. Did not have permission. B. Was not informed. C. Has not rested. Or D. Did not know. You're right! The answer is letter A did not have permission. Number 6. Which of the following events happened last? A. The carabao cried out that it was so hot. B. The cow and the carabao decided to swim. C. The farmer came while the animals were swimming. D. The cow and the carabao hurriedly put on their skins. You're right! The answer is letter D. The cow and the carabao hurriedly put on their skins. Number 7. What kind of story is this? A. Myth B. Parable C. Legend or D. Fairy tale You're right! The answer is letter C, legend. How many scores did you get? Wow, that's a great job! Do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button to be notified for the next episode. Goodbye, kids!